Magpies know what it takes to win a Division II title, doing it last year in York Adams. Now, New Oxford wants to repeat in 2023. They're making quite the case for themselves. Still undefeated 5-0 coming into Week 6 and a date with Susquehannock. We jump ahead to the second half. 7-0 Colonials lead at home. Susquehannock would control time of possession most of the third quarter, but couldn't score. So they line up for a field goal in a tight ball game, and it's no good. The New Oxford comes back with a haymaker. Idris Amatovic airing it out. Brendan Holmes hauls it in for the score. It is 14-0 New Oxford. Warriors won't quit, though. Quarterback Josh Pacunas drops back, throws it up for grabs, but it's the Colonials' Braden Billman who ends up with it. He'll just run it out of bounds. New Oxford goes on to win 14-0. We're going to welcome in Colonials head coach Jason Warner. Coach, first of all, a gritty win tonight. What did you see from your team? Uh, I mean, we're really happy about the way our guys performed, especially in a close game like that. We feel like we uh, got a little bit older tonight. Um, you know, uh, defense stood tall and very proud of the way they played. You've scored a ton of points so far this season, averaging over 32 points per game, and that does include tonight's 14-point performance. What do you like about your offense? You've had to win in a variety of ways now. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, we've had uh, games where we've relied on the big play, and then we had games like tonight where we were able to grind it out. You know, I think Adriz was five for seven tonight. Now, I was actually shocked we only threw the ball seven times. That's not like us. So, um, you know, we're really proud of our guys, especially our linemen up front, and the way they're able to, uh, you know, really pave the way for our running backs to do what they need to do to win games. I want to ask about that real fast. Only seven passing attempts. It just didn't feel like that in the game, just stuck with what worked, the ground game, I guess? I mean, it didn't, and, and it didn't feel like it was that few while the game was going on, but I also think that it seemed like Susquehannock's approach was to limit our possessions, which they did. Uh, they did a nice job at controlling the clock, and, and Coach Therese has a really good team. Uuh, so we just tried to make the most out of the, uh, of the possessions that we had. Hey, so you are 6-0 and now. How do you keep your group motivated, avoid complacency? You've got four more weeks before those playoffs kick in. You know, it's funny, we, it's funny you say that because we talk a lot about that this week as far as – uh, being committed and making sure that uh, you never put yourself before the team and what that really means, what's that look like in practice, what's that look like in games, what's that look like in the hallways in school, uh, you know, what's that look like in your free time. So uh, we talked a lot to the players about, you know, making sure that, you know, we're still uh, being as focused as possible at all opportunities uh, to make sure that we're prepared uh, for every game on Friday night. Is this a special group, one that you think could make a run? No, I mean, we really like our group. You know, we got, we got a nice group of kids. Uh, they work really hard and, uh, you know, they've really bought in to, to what we're uh, trying to do as a program. So we're very excited about where we are right now and, and what that could lead to. So we're starting to look at those power rankings in Class 5A. Always a tight race. You like your chances now that Garden Spot handed effort of their first loss. Looks like a stacked class, though, to go against this year. Have you looked at it at all? I know it's really usually one game at a time, though. <laughs> I mean, obviously, every coach is going to tell you they're not looking at that because we're taking it one game at a time. But, you know, we've, we've talked to our, our squad leaders and our captains about, you know, what happens, you know, week, week nine, week 10, week 11, those types of things, just because we feel as though they're leaders in the team. We need to prepare them mentally uh, starting as soon as possible for what could happen in the postseason. Uh, you know, but with the whole team, you know, we're taking it a week at a time. And uh, a lot can happen between now and week 10. And we'll see where the chips fall and who we play and, Kind of take it from there. All right, Coach. Well, you are 6-0 and through six weeks of this season. Thank you so much for staying up with us tonight. Hey, we really appreciate your time. Thank you. Awesome. All right, best of luck.